So in another video, video yesterday, like this is a video series, but so it's like you probably come into one of these videos and you see that video. So it's maybe a bit confusing for you. Like today I want to talk about like how there are main reasons to why people are motivated. And you can use this to better understand people that are kind of looking for a job at your company or I mean also if you like if you're working with digital products you can use it for understanding your users better so there's a great book by a person called Yukai Shu and the book was kind of based on his personal experience like he, he was a very like hardcore gamer and he he game he was playing a game and Whenever a game ends, like a lot of gamers feel this emptiness, you know, like, you know, you get into a certain state of flow and then you play, you play, you play, and then all of a sudden it's gone, right? And when it's gone, you, you feel this emptiness in your life. And I think people feel this with like, I mean, I've certainly felt this, this with you know, Netflix shows. Like, I mean, I was watching this uh, Netflix show called Atypical, which is a bit about an autistic boy who, who is trying to learn how to date. And I felt it was like this. This show was absolutely amazing because it was like about the social relationships and like, you know, trying to use logic and like also like the illogical part of human relationships and like trying to understand them. In, in a way and, and it's like uh, yeah I'm just very into those kind of movies and books uh, so you guys should whenever he had this like bad experience of 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 like feeling this void in his life after being this gamer and of, of this one particular game I think it was Diablo and um, he sat down and he thought about his life and he's like what if I could make my life as engaging as you know the games I play and I mean it totally makes sense right like people like we have a whole like, generation of young people and like I mean now pretty much anyone is a game is, is playing some kind of game like you know Candy Crush or World of Warcraft or whatever it is like or, or what is called Fortnite and um, and people do this for a reason like I think we're not giving the the creators of these games credit enough like their their ability of engaging people motivating people to do something as much as like you know playing World of Warcraft for for like hundreds of thousands of hours is pretty amazing and there's like some components of, of these gamings that are you know they're they're making people like connect and all those things and i think it's important to realize that all the activities that people do in their lives is like based on some common drives that we have as humans and the way that yukai shu is kind of putting this is very it's very elegant and i think it's very applicable to writing job ads and and like finding out what people get motivated by so the framework is eight steps and these eight steps are like cornerstones of human motivation the first one is epic meaning and epic meaning is like being a part of something bigger than yourself like that you can like throw yourself into and you know an organization can definitely have this on a lot of different levels but like there's one company called Tom's Shoes what they do is that they sell shoes but and that's like you know what's the purpose of that like you know what's the meaning of it but what they do is that they add this epic meaning layer to it saying like for every single shoe you buy we will give a pair of shoes to someone in need so i think that's a fantastic example of an organization that have like taking a fast moving consumer good adding some social benefit to it like some epic meaning like you're being part of something bigger than yourself and motivating people by that 
And this is not only for consumers, but it's also for people in the organization working there. And the sef- second one is empowerment of creativity and feedback. And the way it works is like those areas of your life or like, I mean, in games, those are the things that are like, you know, just like evergreen things in games. Like, you know, if you have been playing Grand Theft Auto, like just going around in your car and driving, like without any purpose, it's just fun to do that. And like, I've been playing music for a long time and, and you know, it's just like being there jamming with other people. It's just like inherently fun, right? And there's concepts of this in, in in work too like even the smallest places like you know you're working in a bar and you know the signs that you have in the bar like you know making the signs some people will find that super interesting just like color those like you know the the offerings and like you know painting those things and making the this pretty like so there's things in all jobs that where you have this like expression expressive part and if, if some people are like super motivated by that and then you have the social influence uh, social influence is like i think super super important but like who are the other people working at the company and like what part of group are you part of because you're in this company and those are both people that are like in the specific company but also for people people that are like suppliers or maybe people that are you know customers and, and all those things like you know showing that this person will not only be by him or herself they will be a part of a bigger context and then we have unpredictability unpredictability is very very strong in 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 modern digital products so for instance like facebook is sending out notifications so that you will be like okay what is this notification that this person wrote right so they're trying to make you come back to the product all the time and the psychological study that is behind this is called Skinner's Box where they found that if you give rats invariable rewards like if you have a lever a rat comes there and like push the lever and they get some kind of reward I think it was sugar and if you give the same amount of sugar every single time you know the rats will like all for a while be like you know uh, let's do something else and but if you give a variable reward so that the rats, like, I wonder how much I will get now, then they will, you know, pull their lever longer. So in the work that people have, it's important to, you know, give some kind of, show that it's not like every day is not exactly the same. Some people want to have, you know, a very structured work where most of the days are, are the same, but, most people don't want to have like you know complete predictability like there has to be some kind of variable things that happens you know throughout the workday and then we have avoidance avoidance is like people you know the fear of missing out right i mean that's also kind of a a strong you know strong thing about like digital products these days like you're not on facebook then you will be missing out a lot of things on facebook and so in relation to to people's work in the recruitment scenario people will need to feel that you know this is actually a good offer on the table and you know it might not be there forever and like you know and that's kind of you know it's true in the recruitment scenario because you're probably not going to be recruiting the same specific same for the same role you know twice right after each other right and then you have scarcity and scarcity is kind of related to avoidance in some way because and then you have scarcity scarcity is like feeling that there's a limit on something so in the kind of with the job like you know saying that you know we only have one position or we only have five positions or wherever it is 
And all of these are important to mention, like it shouldn't be a lie. It should be completely honest. Like if you don't have very strong, you know, unpredictability in this role, don't say that. If, and all of this should be completely honest because if you don't have any unpredictability in this role, you don't want to tell people that you have because then they will just like start working and then feel like totally disengaged anyways. So this is about communicating the things that actually exist in a very honest manner. It's a bit different from the way that people might think about marketing. I think a lot of people think about marketing in terms of like, you know, we want to make people feel very positive about our products and by doing that marketers have in the past and I mean nowadays also been you know pushing a lot harder and like maybe painting a picture that is not really true but that looks good but whenever it comes to recruitment I think it's almost opposite like you want to be so honest so that like whenever people join they feel like okay this was you know not upsold at all it's just like accurate as it is like i really know how this work was before i took it and this is a thing that candidates you know feel is is kind of lacking right now a lot of candidates feel like they don't understand the company culture before they join the company culture which is a big problem and then one factor is ownership and ownership is like in kind of the gaming scenario it's like you know whenever you get these like trophies and you're like building up some kind of asset over time and this also exists in, in pretty much all jobs like everything that you will feel that you're kind of accumulating or improving over time and kind of the most general one is skill right I mean by pointing out to a person like the skills that the person will get by working at your company you will be engaging more people it will be like you know if you work here these are the things that we can give and then we have accomplishment and accomplishment is like progress feeling that you're improving and this is very closely related to you know the idea of having a career but not only a career like as I said in, in the previous thing you know, like talking about ownership that's more like the the asset that we accumulate over time and this is more like you know the feeling of like actually like excelling right and I, and I think it's important to like show people what they will learn by working at the company or like in what way they will kind of improve so tomorrow we're going to talk more about this octalysis framework and how you can improve your job as by using it